Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, March 18th, 2010. This morning I wanted to go through using standard in and standard out from Small Talk. It turns out that if you're on one of the Unix platforms, which includes the Mac or Linux, this is a fairly straightforward thing. You just start your system up, make sure you don't put it in the background, because if you put it in the background, those streams will be closed. But assuming you didn't put it in the background, and this is my terminal here on the Mac, I've started up from the command line. This is kind of an extraneous set of error messages you get that you shouldn't really worry about, but they do come up on the Mac, so don't worry about that. But now let's just try to dump something to standard out. What you do is grab class IO Accessor, ask for the default class, because that'll give you the default class for the platform you're on. Grab standard out, it'll give you a stream. Once you've got that stream, you can write to it like a stream. You might want to flush it, because when flushing, that's when you actually see things appear on the stream. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll do a do it and we'll see what happens. So I execute that, we'll go over here, there's my message. Now, to read from it, very similar, in is IO accessor default class standard in, input in is up to, and I'll put here a character CR, so what I'll do is I'll put in some text, buh, put in a return, and now I'll try to read that. So we'll do a do it, and there I dropped it to the transcript, you see it read it. Now, same thing will work over on Windows but things are a little different over there in terms of how you have to get started. So here I am on Windows. I'm using, relatively speaking, the same VM, the standard visual instead of VWNT or anything else. That's kind of a problem on Windows. Watch what happens here when I try to write to the same thing going here. I'm going to get an exception. And that's because on Windows, those streams aren't normally open. So what I'm going to do is quit this image and I'm going to start a different one. So we're going to start VWNT console because what that does is you notice here when I started that I've got the same kind of behavior I had over on the Mac. Notice how I've got the thing as if it's not running in the background. Well it's exactly what's going on. It's not running in the background. I have the ability to use this. So let's go ahead and open up that same workspace that I had before. So with that open, let's go ahead and write to standard out. So I will go ahead and start doing this. And there you can see that I wrote it. Now, things are a little different in terms of reading. What I do is I don't type in stuff first. What I do is I prepare for reading on Windows. So I go ahead and tell it I expect to get some input, do this. Notice now I'm waiting. I've got the Windows cursor for wait, the little swirly thing. And I'll come over here and I'll type B-U-H and hit return. And now it finished reading here and there it dropped it to the transcript. So similar behavior on Windows, not completely identical, but you can write to standard out, you can read from standard in, you can do all the things you would normally do. You just need to be aware of the fact that on Windows, if you don't start up using VWNT console, those streams will not be open. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.